The question is that the Sustainable Energy Bill be passed by the House. I call on Nerida Beitba. Tēnā koutou. As New Zealanders, we are passionate about our environment that we live in. We are caretakers of the land and must do our part to ensure its survival. We need to all work together collaboratively collaboratively to make change for the future generations. I support sustainable energy, however, I cannot support this bill in its current form because of the unrealistic goals for electric vehicles. My reasoning for this is, number one, the target of 15,000 new electric vehicles by 2020 is unrealistic. The current number of electric vehicles on our roads is only two thirds of this expected growth. Number two, the incentive to own an electric vehicle is not great enough. The additional cost to purchase an electric vehicle compared to a petrol vehicle is roughly 10 times greater than the cashback subsidy provided from the policy intervention. Number three, the infrastructure is lacking. There is a lack of charging stations nationwide, and the time taken to charge leads to frustration. To encourage the use of electric vehicles, there needs to be an easily accessed, reliable network throughout the country to keep these, to keep these cars charged in a timely manner. If people are having to wait to charge their cars, they will soon lose interest in sustainable vehicles. And lastly, what to do with the batteries at the end of their lifetime? At this point in time, we don't have the technology to recycle or dispose of old batteries in an environmentally friendly manner. So these newfound problems must all be considered. Overall, I am in favour of the concept of sustainable energy and electric vehicles. However, it needs to be done in a realistic time frame to lessen the initial cost to the public. We need to do more research into all forms of sustainable energy. For example, hydrogen cars, wind turbines and hydro dams. We are lucky to have these resources that create renewable energy, which we should be utilising to their full potential without impacting our environment. We also need to be careful that this does not create a financial burden to our economy. I support ideas that lower carbon emissions and help mitigate the effects of climate change which is the way we need to head to look after our environment for future generations. But before this bill is passed, I believe it needs future development and research. Mr Speaker and fellow youth MPs, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my views on this bill, which I cannot fully support in its current form. Therefore, I will be voting against this bill and I encourage you to do the same. I call on Melissa Bonilla Casanas. I rise today to say.